Alright, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot switch from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kings. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Silky. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Big elbow there, Lance. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, 
Head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice loop and punch. Trying to kick the leg out. We cross the midpoint in round one. Body kick now by Lou. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Just over two minutes now to go. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lands with a right hand. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. But there's some guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Liver kick. Oh. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Fifteen seconds. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. And relax. He had some good striking in that round. Probably won, but that's all right. This round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Going orthodox now. Nice punch by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Blocks the shot. got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storm. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And they separate. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Slips to avoid the right. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. 
And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's going right from the jet, too. Nice counter left hook. Round three next. Hey, stop. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Let's punch into that clinch this way. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working great. Let's make sure. Keep your hands up. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Head kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. It's a good right hand right there. Big kick lands. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. How good is that right hand? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice head kick. Liver kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Able to check that kick as well. Big kick land. Connects with a right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Beautiful punch. Powerful leg kick land. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round, DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down, or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time 
Then every now and again, he would set down for the strike that was really damaging his opponent. Real sneaky body kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Slips the punch. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big head kick lands. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Right punch is there. Lee's a strike attempt there is good. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a bowl. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Yeah. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Beautiful spinning attack there. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Whiffs on that offering. Head kick. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter. Chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Touching because you're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced in the gym. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. And man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they are approaching round number two. And he switches his stance yet again. Nice straight punch. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Over and over, he's landed his big body kick. Big kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice straight left hand. Three minutes now to go in this one. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. 
He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. He blocks the shot. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, found a home for that knee. One minute to go in the fight. Big and kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Big body kick land. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Leg kick. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49-46. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did it.